in Grand Theft Auto Online, you can go one of two routes. You can either be a baller and drive all the big brolic vehicles with guns attached to them, or you could be a little bit of a of a fancy boy and drive all the luxurious cars and more importantly the convertibles but there's a lot of convertibles so which one is the best convertible to buy well don't worry my name is giggity or mark and today i got you covered with the top 10 best convertibles in grand theft auto online in 2023 all right so coming in at number 10 is going to the enos windsor drop it has a price of nine hundred thousand dollars on the legendary motorsports website or you can actually get it for free if you have the premium edition so if you got the premium edition, there's literally no reason why you shouldn't have this car. It's a luxury Rolls Royce style car, obviously, with a very beautiful interior, especially for the time that it came out. And in my opinion, you just kind of have to have at least one Rolls Royce in Grand Theft Auto Online. Like you're making millions of dollars and you're not going to own just one Rolls Royce. Come on, man. It's like you don't have to actually drive it, but you got to own it. Now, it doesn't have the best customization, obviously, because it is a Rolls Royce. You don't really need much customization to them. But when it came out, the liveries that were on the car was insane. I don't know if any Everybody remembers that but when the windsor drop came out and everybody saw the, all the liveries that we got for it everybody was like going nuts and now we just have liveries like that on all cars but this was like the first car to really do that which is pretty cool coming in at number nine is going to the banshee 900 r now the base model banshee is also a pretty good one as well just want to put that out there and once again if you have the premium edition you can actually get the banshee for free but in order to upgrade it to the banshee 900 r version you have to drive it to benny's original motorworks and then pay six hundred fifty thousand dollars after the upgrade and that's not including all the customization options for it so it will cost significantly more if you want it to look really cool but in my opinion it's absolutely worth it it is one of the slowest supercars in the game around a track but it's actually very good for uh, straight line speed but in my opinion that doesn't really matter anyway because it's just a good looking wide body car that everybody is going to be making like their own uh like style to it right like, there's never going to be a same banshee 900 r because everybody has so much options to choose from i actually like the coopers a little bit better but since it is a convertible i obviously am going to include the convertible in this list and i mean for six hundred thousand dollars in today's gta money you really can't go wrong coming in at number eight is going to the ubermacht sentinel buddy this car is actually completely free if you get it off the streets, so I would highly recommend doing that because the Sentinel is a very cool car and you could just get it off the streets for free. That's so amazing. Now, it isn't fast at all and sadly not that customization, not that many customization options for it because it's not the Sentinel XS, but it still does have a decent, I guess you could say, amount of customizations for it. I just wish it had like the XS customization so bad because the Sentinel XS has a ridiculous amount of customization, but then the base model just doesn't. Either way, though, it is an like OG vert that I feel like everybody used to have back in 2013 because it was such like a hidden gem. But now everybody forgot about it because you could just buy like a one point five million dollar BMW instead. When this Sentinel, you drive by it all the time and you're going to be like, oh, that's nothing. But it is something and it's really cool absolutely get yourself a sentinel coming in at number seven is going to the one of the newer uh cabriolets of the game and it's the comet s2 cabrio obviously this is based off of the wonderful porsche 911 cabrio whatever they call that thing uh and it has a price of 1.8 million dollars which is definitely expensive and i personally do like the normal comet s2 better but to each their own if you like this one better then go for it it does have tons of customization and it can be used in tuner races too but it's definitely not that great for tuner races so if you're looking to win tuner races don't i don't think this is like a great investment just buy a Sultan rs if you're looking for to win tuner races but it does have such a high price for something that's kind of mid-pack for the sports cars either way it is a very beautiful looking car i just wish it was like cheaper or at least more competitive but it's gta in 2023 what am i what am i thinking they're not going to make this thing ever cheaper the next cabriolet is going to be like five million dollars so i should probably take this one for granted coming in at number six is a very forgotten car nobody drives these nobody talks about these and i think they're really beautiful cars it is the coquette classic topless it has a price of four hundred thousand on it the legendary motorsports website but you can once again get this car for free if you buy the premium edition i don't know why they give you so many convertibles for free from the premium edition but there you go i love the coquette classics looks so much personally but i just wish it was better for sports classic races because it is very very slow for sure for like the racing aspect of it and it really doesn't have that much customization either they have recently added uh, liveries to it and the liveries definitely help but it still just needs a little bit more in my opinion but it is only four hundred thousand dollars and for four hundred thousand dollars i think everybody should own a classic c2 corvette i mean it's just I feel like in my opinion that is a must have for only 400k and if you have the premium edition it's completely free so definitely go ahead and pick yourself up one it's not super fast but 
it's a cool looking car and a fun car to have. Coming in at number five is once again a very new uh, convertible to the game. It is the Dinka RT3000, obviously based off of the Honda S2000. It has a $1.7 million base price and a $1.3 million trade price on the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website. I definitely recommend getting the trade price for this one because a $400,000 discount is pretty massive it also looks really cool it does have tons of mods for it obviously because it is a tuner's car you obviously once again can use it in tuner races but it's very slow for the tuner races but i really don't think that a honda s2000 needed to be like a super quick car that can beat everybody i think what they did with it is perfect it's just a beautiful s2000 that has tons of customization options for it and i think everybody should have it if they're looking to build like a jdm style garage now is it overpriced yeah but it's gta so it's going to be overpriced Coming in at number four is actually going to an OG convertible, a 2013 convertible that still to this day is absolutely beautiful in my opinion and such a bargain. It is the Grotti Carmen Azar. It has a price of $200,000 on the Legendary Motorsports website. 200 k for a Ferrari sports car that looks beautiful when they just released a freaking camper van for $1.1 million and you can buy this car for 200 k it's absolute no-brainer to me that you should absolutely buy one of these things. They're also very fun to drive. They're not that fast for the sports class, but they're also not that bad either. They're right in the mid-pack, and for a car that came out in 2013, in my opinion, that's very worth it. It stays very planted, and it does look absolutely amazing, like I said before. And it's only 200k. Like, I can't, I can't stress that part enough. 200,000. You can make that in one sail mission with the bunker. One sail mission if you do it in a populated lobby. That's crazy. But coming in at third place, just barely making it onto the podium finish, it is the 9F Cabrio. Another 2013 OG convertible car, actually, and this one's even cheaper. It is 130K on the Legendary Motorsports website. That is, I mean, this, what? How are the. Uh, I wish prices were still like that for cars that came out. Either way, though, it's super cheap for a beautiful car that's actually still kind of competitive in today's standards. It's still in the top 20 sports cars in the game, which is crazy because there's over 100 sports cars now, and it's still in the top 20. And like I said, it's an OG 2013 vehicle that's only 130K to buy, and I feel like you just need to own it. If you're a GTA Online player, you need to own a 9F Cabrio. It doesn't have the best mods for it because it is a 2013 car, but it's not that bad either. I really think Rockstar should, since they've been adding like more customization for old cars that didn't get enough love, I really think they need to start doing that with these cars, like the 9F Cabrio, the Surano GT, the Carmen Azar, the Infernus, the Cheetah. Cars like that start need a little bit more love, G Rockstar. Coming in at second place, however, is not an OG 2013 car. It's a pretty new one. It is, of course, the Coquette D10 Topless. Uh, this one, I didn't really know if you guys were going to be uh, upset with me for it, but I put it here anyway because technically it's not a convertible stock, but you can make it a convertible when you bring it into Los Santos Customs, and in my opinion, that counts. To be honest, it really isn't super competitive sp for sports cars, but it's just the looks of the car. I think it looks beautiful. It has a price of $1.5 million on the Legendary Motorsports website, obviously, which is a bit high, but it's not that bad, to be honest, compared to something like the Lynx or the Emirates, who, which are both like close to $3 million. That's absolutely amazing. The Coquette D10, though it has a bunch of fun customization for it and it looks very similar to the real c8 corvette too and i think that's so like so cool i love how they're starting to make cars look way more realistic like the segoy looks so much like a 10th gen civic it's mind-blowing but either way it's really just a good looking c8 vet that almost looks like a mod in a way like it doesn't even look like it's meant to be in the game seriously it looks like somebody modded it into the game and i absolutely love it but coming in at first place, in my opinion, the best convertible in all of Grand Theft Auto Online right now is the Fister 811 Topless, which is only a $1.1 million supercar on the Legendary Motorsports website. That is super cheap for a supercar that is faster in a straight line than all other supercars. That's the reason I put it at number one. The 811 Topless is still to this day the fastest in a straight line. Now, it's not that fast when actually racing around a track with corners because it's not good at cornering, but for straight line speed in particular it's a no-brainer it's the fastest one and that's crazy to me it also looks really good to me and only cost one million dollars like that is a steal of a deal and back in that day when this car came out the freaking osiris and t20 were over two million dollars already and then this car came out and was only 1.1 million like it, it, it's even back then it was a good deal and still nowadays it is an even better deal 1.1 million dollars for a supercar that's really fast in a straight line looks incredible and it's just a fun car to own and drive absolute absolute bargain 
But, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more. Let me know what other top 10 videos you'd like to see. Let me know what other style videos you'd like to see. I'd really appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button. We're at 311, which is actually really good. So, thank you guys very much. We're growing really quickly on this channel. But, I'd love to get to 400 subscribers by my birthday, which is April 14th. If we can get to 400 subscribers by April 14th, I will be one happy man. So, let me... uh so please, you know, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Das and have a nice night.